Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and I've got a great message for you today that's all about advancing the ball. It's about moving the needle on anything that you want to be, have, or do. So let's get cracking. See, there's only two ways to get what you want in life. You do it honestly, or you do it dishonestly. You either make it or you take it. So how do you take it? Well, you can rob a liquor store. You can blackmail someone. You can sell a fake crypto coin. You can even create a pandemic. Lying, cheating, and stealing. That. That's how ill-gotten gains are achieved. They're always a result of wrongly conceived ideas, wrongly interpreted beliefs, and wrongly executed plans. Zucophiles, the ancient Greek playwright, said it best. Ill-gotten gains are the work of evil people with evil intentions. So let's look at the other side of this equation. How do you make it? How do you win with honor, with integrity, and with good character? See, character is made of those principles and values that give your life meaning, direction, pride, and significance. They constitute your inner sense of right and wrong because wrong is simply doing wrong. It is not just in getting caught. Therefore, your focus must always be on doing the right thing. See, what works is not necessarily what's right. Even when you can get away with less, even when the wrong thing seems like no big deal, even when no one's watching. Now, let me share with you just a word of caution. Knowing what is right is no guarantee that you will do what is right. But it's far easier to do right than it is to undo wrong. And that is a point worth repeating. It is far easier to do right than it is to undo wrong. So let's talk about an inconvenient truth. You see, success requires those who seek it to develop an enormous threshold for discomfort and inconvenience because of the many hard choices and the sacrifices that are involved. Now, this truth applies to every definition of success, and it applies to every one and to every endeavor. In short, to be successful, you must get comfortable being uncomfortable. See, inconvenience and discomfort are part of the foundational building blocks of achievement. And every person who's ever been legitimately successful has nurtured the habit of doing the right things. Now, I'm talking about the things that others don't like to do or who don't have the character or the moral compass to do. Unfortunately, society has placed such a high premium on convenience, on entitlement, expediency, risk avoidance, and keeping up with the Joneses that it has enabled physical and psychological weakness. The acceptance of inconvenience and discomfort explains why people, with every apparent qualification for success, become disappointing failures, while others achieve outstanding success in spite of many obvious and discouraging handicaps. In other words, We've got to realize right from the start that success requires an unconventional approach and a much different philosophical view. Now, in all my years of coaching and consulting, I've come to the understanding that true success is something that is only achieved by the minority of people. It's unnatural and it's not realized by following our natural likes and dislikes, nor nor is it guided by our natural preferences and prejudices. We have to accept that becoming uncomfortable is not a nuisance, but rather, It's a necessity to growth, to excellence, and to success. While a list of things by which most people don't want to be inconvenienced by is much too long to entertain, saying that they all emanate from a willingness to embrace easy, convenient, risk-avoiding, short-term solution to just about any situation can dispose of them all. It's sad, it's pathetic, it's the truth, and it is bizarre, primarily for one simple reason, and that is... We always instinctively know the right thing to do. That's why I said earlier, it's far easier to do right than it is to undo wrong. See, Confucius was absolutely right when he said over 2,000 years ago, to see what is right and not to do is cowardice. That's why the greatest challenge you'll ever face in your lifetime is to choose to do the right thing when it's risky, when it's inconvenient, and yes, when it's uncomfortable.